Hello YouTube. This is Stefan, aka Dutch Bushcraft, and I'm making this video for Arrow Bushcraft. And it's about the difference between a lookalike and a copy. Now I'm not big into cars, I'm not into cars. I don't know the different brands and all the different models. But if I look at the modern day Mercedes and the modern day BMW, to me they all look alike. But of course they are not the same, they are not copies. They might copy some specific stuff, but they are not real copies. Here I have the Volkneven F1 in the leather sheet. A nice package. There's a lot of reviews about the Volkneven F1, so I will not uh, go into that. But it's a very nice package. And of course the leather sheet is fine too, works well. Especially when you transport it inside your, your luggage and not on your belt. For me that is. You can also get the the side tail sheet because uh, fuck even in the early days they had uh, kydex sheets but they changed to side tail yes and you see tight fit just some rattle you can hear it not that much so this company this Swedish company it's called uh, yakkit.com I will probably pronounce it wrong but I will put uh, the text uh, in I will put the name in the text they made uh, a Kydex sheet, and this is the one. It has a drain hole, and actually it looks really nice. It has a snap and velcro, a large uh, belt loop. You can change the position if you want to. But it's uh, normally a belt carry knife, but there's also room for straps, so you can strap it to your, your pack or maybe your diving gear, whatever. And as you can see, the belt loop is big enough for military equipment belts. So, how does the knife fit? Well, it fits like a glove. So to be honest, if I have to choose one out of these three, the, the leather, the side tail or the Kydex from a different company, I would definitely choose the Kydex. So this would be my package. Okay, and something I normally don't do, but uh, I had to test it once, is buy a copy. This is a copy of the Falkneven F1. It comes with the uh, same type of sheet, only it's not leather but plastic. Rather cheap build of course. And every everybody who knows Falkneven will know that this is not the real deal. But still, on the sheet, they put F1 on there. On the blade, I don't know if it will focus enough. They say it's a Falkneven F1. So that's a, a copy, a knockoff. Is it a good knife for the money because it was very cheap? I'm going to test it. Don't know yet. So far it's not bad, but it's not the real deal, of course not. And I do not like the knockoff, the copies. Oh, uh, will it fit the other sheets? Yes, it will. In the side tail. Well, now used to put the strap on. And the knockoff will also fit the Kydex. And of course the, the leather sheet. So let's put the, the Falkneven aside for a bit, the real deal, the real Falkneven F1 and the Kydex and the Zytel. And then we see here the copy 
and we see here the lookalike. And this is a knife made by uh, jaktkit.com. It's called the uh, Jaktknivar KNV3. That's probably knife tree, knife model tree. And it's an interesting package. It has the Kydex sheet. And it's a nice little knife. I compare it to the F1, the original one also. So here they are all three. You can see it's a look-alike, but it's not a direct copy. It is more rounded, it has more curve to it. So it's actually more uh, a hunting knife, a small hunting knife. This one has a little dent here in the handle. The guy who sent me uh, this knife for the review, he explained to me that it was actually this one is one that they did not sell to the because it did not pass the quality test. So they decided not to sell it, and that's why they sent it to me to give it a, a good test. I will take it outside later. This is the the desktop, the initial desktop review. So you can see the difference. It's not a, it's not a copy. It's a look-alike. They use the same system, but why not? If a system works and it's proven, why not? It feels comfortable in the hand, just like uh, the the Falknevens do. Do. It has some grip, some texture here. Still a small handle, also like the Falkneven. Because that's that's small too. Maybe the Falkneven is a uh, well, not not even now. It's about uh, the same contour. In fact, if you see, you can see that uh, the the handles are actually much alike. The Jaktkit Knief 3 Jaktknievar is uh, maybe a few millimeters shorter than the than the Falkneven. And the blade is definitely shorter, but also shaped a bit differently. But it's also priced differently, because you can get this one for 6.99 kroner. That is, that is uh, uh, well about 70 euro, let's say. And uh, F1, the original F1, it will cost you about here in Holland 130 euro, 130 probably. So there's a difference. So I've showed now that the Falkneven F1 and the copy are uh, the same dimensions, almost the same dimensions. There are some very slight differences. So my test will be between these two, the lookalike and the copy. So I will take them out a bit and test them. I think this is a very nice hunting knife uh, the sheet by the way also a large velcro no snap but it will fit a large waist belt no worries there and also because this velcro is so long it will sit between the belt and your body so even in winter times with snow and uh, mud and stuff like that or water salty water it will not come loose it also has a drain hole and I've tested the drain hole it works and you see here the small indentations in the in the sheet on both sides and they are actually uh, to keep the knife rattle free. It's a hunting knife. So you don't want to make any noise to alarm the game. And this has absolutely no rattle at all. You just don't hear anything. It's a nice sturdy sheet. Uh, maybe it's a bit too tight. You can see that there's a bit of wear on the handle from in and out the sheet and also I have a little wear on the blade that might be because it was a bit sandy 
but hey it's a user blade and not uh, a model uh, to put in your closet or in your uh, uh, in your collection it's it's a user blade it's a, a small utility and hunting knife that is how I would describe it just a tad smaller than the original F1 looks the same is not the same so I will test these two uh, probably take also the F1 the original one as a reference and I will get back to you with more videos about this knife okay always take care bye bye